So these are my favorite boots ever. And no, they are not Blundstones. I wear Blundstones. Um, they're definitely not new, <laughs> but they're well used. Hey team, welcome back to another episode. So today we're going to be talking about our favorite boots. Mine more so in particular because <laughs> I went through a lot of research and finally found a pair that I like. It only took two years? Yeah. Imagine we decide to have children. My God. So this video is sponsored by Trademore, which is an amazing online marketplace where you can buy and sell used smartphones. We've talked about them in the past and we're gonna talk about them a little bit more later in this video. Jeez. Uh, oh, they're so dirty. No. I'm not even gonna no. put them down. What I'm just we... gonna hold them. Should we? No, I'll hold them. I'm gonna okay. shake them out hold on. So these are Leah's blonde stones. Um, <laughs> they're so dirty. <laughs> I use them a lot. You've had them for at least... I think at least four years. Look at how damaged these are. I don't know what I... I don't know what kicked stuff or... Leah is so off. hard on boots. Like... There's literally a little chunk missing right there in the front. How do you even do that? <laughs> I don't know. It's all the shit kicking. Dang! So for comparison, these are my old boots, which somehow have the toes relatively intact. Um, <laughs> but what we've excitedly done, or maybe what I've excitedly done, is bought some new boots. These are Canada West, basically like Blundstone imitations. Uh, They're called Chelsea boots. Yes, yeah, this is a Chelsea variety of boot and uh, they have some cool quirks that Blundstones don't, which is the reason why I bought them. So the reason why I didn't go with Blundstones is for a few key reasons. Number one, not actually made in Australia, so there's some quality issues there, but also because they're not very repairable, unlike these boots. These boots have a Goodyear welt, as you can see all around the bottom here, which means that you can peel this off if it wears out and you can replace it with a new one whenever you feel like. I guess in comparison, if I ever needed to actually replace the bottom of my Blundstones, you're not able to do that. It's all put together as one piece, yeah. so you're not able to just like remove it. And eventually, you see how hard I am on them, this heel <laughs> is absolutely gonna blow out. We talk about this and the whole history of Blundstones in a recent video over on Future Proof. Is it one of your favorites? It is. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say it's in the top three? I think a lot of people just assume that Blundstones is this amazing company because they've been around for so long and a lot of the people who own them and enjoy them are people who are like us, who are, you know, socially and environmentally responsible and like to go hiking and surfing, etc. But like, in our experience from doing this deep dive, they kind of fail to live up to a lot of the promises that they have. Hopefully that wasn't too much of a spoiler. One of the only reasons that my boots are even still waterproof, even though I'm busting like holes into it, is that we did put some waterproofing on them and we do that every year to make sure that they last as long as possible. God damn, you're like literally cracking through. I know. Oh my God. Don't put your finger in there and try and crack it more. Chen. How are you? I just got these new boots, and I, I want them. I want them to be a little bit more uh, waterproof for the winter. Is there is there something that comes uh, like that's not in an aerosol can like this? You can put, but this is your boots gonna look natural, better, and work better too. To me, I wouldn't. I wouldn't use this. No, you this use... only for those logger people. Logger you know? people. Oh yeah, okay. not for dressy and handsome like this. No, what? You're house. saying I'm handsome? Well, part of it. Your hair <laughs> handsome, but not your body. <laughs> okay. See? And um, you are my boy. <laughs> How many view on the uh, uh, Birkenstock? Oh, we're, we're over 50,000. Holy moly. Only 50,000 50, people have watched. Everybody loves you, man. Jeez, I heard. Say, say, hi, to, say hi to YouTube, Jim. There he is. This here is the we man. go! Come on! Look at the old man right here! Back to work! 
Ha! <laughs> I love it. Oh. So, team, Jim just said that after the video that we made about the Birkenstocks, he had 10 to 15 people show up at his shop and say, I'm here because I watched a video on Levi Hildebrand's YouTube channel. That's awesome, you guys. We actually are like supporting a dude because of a video we made. So thank you to everybody who like went out and actually got their shoes repaired, especially at a local place uh, and Jim in particular because he's a absolute freaking gangster. Wow. <laughs> oh, there's there's Ellie. Yes, yes. Hello, doggo. Yes. I'm so glad. Oh no, that's uh, she's stalling. She's stalling. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we're going on a walk today in the sunshine mainly because it was so rainy yesterday we didn't yeah. even go on our morning walk I was like there's no there's no point we will be swimming how do I even get both of us in the shot <laughs> you're so tall I just want to do it like this and then you just see me yeah, there you go. that's fine yeah, look at that look you're at this. this is a learning process <laughs> Le Leah is holding the camera everyone so this is a I'm... process we're learning I, I, I quit. Look at that, what a day. So one of the issues I have is this heel right here. What, because, behind? Yeah, I'm, I tend to land on the heel of my foot when I walk and that's why I've blown out the heels of so many of my shoes and I've noticed with this extended heel uh, it happens a lot more often. I'm, I'm landing a lot heavier on that. And Blundstones, for all their issues, they don't have that raised heel, which... Like slightly raised? I don't know. Here, let's look at oh. it. Oh. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, just! <laughs> <laughs> she likes her feet. I mean, come on. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Done. That's a good one. That's a great one. I also noticed that there was very little break-in period for these boots, which is not typical of leather shoes for the most part. I find that you have to really wear them to get used to them. But these were pretty well comfortable out of the box, which is not your experience with your Blundstones. No, with my Blundstones, I have quite wide feet, so I would find I'd be like sitting in class or somewhere else, and my feet would start to ache from yeah. the feeling of, of the leather hadn't quite expanded yet. Uh, they, they're better now, but again, Four years later, you'd, you'd hope that they yeah, you'd hope they'd break in. Yeah. Wow. Such a nice day. Oh my god. More beach glasses. Go. So because Blundstones are so ubiquitous, it was actually quite difficult for me to find non-Blundstone boots of this style that I could buy, especially ones that had a good year welt. And Canada West was like the culmination of how many years of research? Basically like two years. Like <laughs> the last two years you guys been like, I need a new pair of boots. And we've had people on the channel be like, Levi, when are you gonna buy your new boots? Tell us about your new boots. We're like, for the love of God, tell us about the boots. <laughs> We're gonna talk about that in a minute, but we're gonna first talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is Trademark, which makes research and buying of stuff so much easier because they make buying and selling your old smartphone as easy as possible. I thought you were going to say, it's easy as pie. Easy as pie. If you did not know, Trademore is an online marketplace for used electronic devices like smartphones, tablets, and smartwatches, and stuff like that. Basically, they help you buy or sell your smartphone, and that keeps it out of the landfill and also saves you money. So I have said a bunch of times on this channel that buying secondhand is the way to go. All of my devices and Leah and I's old laptops are actually secondhand as well. But the reality is a whole bunch of people don't do this. And I think it's because people think it's too complicated or it's gonna take too much work or they have no idea if they're getting the right device or if it's gonna be good. Exactly, they're worried about is it gonna be like a quality product that I'm getting if I'm not for sure it's coming from a store insert trade more they have a 30 point inspection system which makes sure that the thing that you're buying is sorry one second <laughs> leah's chatting with one of her older friends he's a 94 year old man who leah helped with his book about figure skating kind of random but 
He's lovely. This inspection system makes sure that the device you're getting isn't a dud and that it's actually going to do all the things that you want it to do. And if you don't enjoy the device that you bought or it isn't the right thing, you have a 30 day window in which you can return it, no questions asked. So sadly, Trademore is only available for our American audiences, which is a huge bummer because I would have loved to use this service for all the devices I've purchased in the past. But if you're in the States and you're part of the team, you can save 10% off your first purchase by using the link down in the description below. How did that go? Poor Ron. He's okay now, but I, he, you know, he was in the hospital. Oh. I know, but apparently he's okay. I'm gonna go help him with his email later today. So. Now, Trademore makes it easy. And sadly, Canada West doesn't. <laughs> They made you work for those boots. If you go on the Canada West website, it looks like it was designed 20 years ago, and it might actually have been. They don't do any online sales except through Amazon, which I'm gonna talk about in a minute. But the way that they primarily try to get people to buy their boots is through local retailers. So if you live somewhere in Canada and they have boots for sale at those locations, they'll list them on their website and you're sort of expected to go through there and like, you know, call them on a phone to figure out if they have your boots. And so that's what I did. Good morning, Viberg Boots. Hey, Viberg Boots. Um, I'm wondering if you have any Canada West Chelsea style boots in stock. And after a whole bunch of trial and error, I went to multiple different shops and the only place that had this particular style that I was interested in was in a town that is sort of nearby where we live. And so I decided to bike an hour and 45 minutes to go and check them out. So the place I ended up going to was called Weaver's Leather, which I sort of thought it meant like they were a leather working shop of some sort. Um, turns out this is a biker store for like people who drive Harley Davidsons and stuff. And uh, so we had an interesting interaction. <laughs> Ladies, what do you think of this look? What do you think? I've seen stranger things. <laughs> now here's the sad reality about Canada West. You can buy this pair of boots on Amazon right now for less money than what I paid for it at this store. And the reason is just because supply chains are difficult. And when you're a small company making boots, you don't really wanna hire and build all the infrastructure to sell those boots to people all across the country. I went out of my way to not buy these boots on Amazon because I fundamentally disagree with Amazon as a business. But part of Canada West's lack of marketing knowledge kind of makes it better for me, honestly. I love the fact that they're just a boot company. They're not trying to market some sustainability initiative that they're working on. They're just like, yeah, we make boots and they're good. If you wanna buy them, figure it out. But I'm still not getting rid of these boots. Um, these are still going to be around. I'm just gonna use them as my wrecker boots. If we're doing work at my parents' place or it's super rainy and ugly out, I'll still wear these boots because I'm willing to beat them up more than I am these new pair of boots. Now, in terms of waterproofing, uh, Chin is a great guy and he definitely knows his stuff when it comes to boots and repair. Uh, I, I think he thought these boots were fancier than they are maybe because these probably should only be used on like dress shoes or something because buy some regular waterproofing stuff and do up your boots because they, they, they worked relatively well, but I don't think it worked as well as like proper weatherproofing. Okay, I think that's the end of my rant, my love. <laughs> I can take my headphones out now. <laughs> well, uh, hopefully this video was helpful or at least interesting for you. Um, at least you got to see some dog content along with boots. So, you know, all in all, well-rounded. We are just sort of settling into this new style of video and hopefully you are still gaining value from them, but getting a little bit of entertainment and some insight into our lives along the way. So we want to thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. If you're still here, amazing, you're the best. And uh, we will, of course, see you in the next video. Bye. I need more of my glasses than my actual.
head. It was like. <laughs> so there's a good chance that you aren't from our part of the world, and uh, if you aren't, you don't know about the crazy amount of weather that we've been getting here. We've had more rain in the last three days than we've had in like months. So uh, there's been a lot of stuff going on. And as a result, uh, we have a little case of flooding. And, and so we have these dehumidifiers going on in here. My purse started sprouting mold. Oh uh, yeah, so... that's, that's not great. <laughs>